Seated comfortably, state your name and spell your last name for the record, and then I'll swear you in. Kimberly Malone, last name M-A-L-O-N-E. All right, then I'll have you raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm any testimony you give would be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Okay. Um, did you, you spoke about domestic violence. When you got this intake, did you have something to verify that domestic violence took place? Any, any documentation from court or um, uh, to the legal system? Um, no, at that time. It was a yes or a no? I'm trying to think. It's been, like I said, it's been six years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I don't remember, honestly. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say yes or no, but I, I would say I don't remember because so I don't want to So you don't, rem you don't remember if you had any documentation that domestic violence actually took place? That's what she just said. Okay. Well, just want to make sure. She said I don't know. She's not I committing to I don't remember. You don't remember? I'm not going to say I don't know. I don't remember. You can't remember, but you do know? Okay, we can move on. She, I got her testimony. She does not remember. It was six years ago. Your question was... Did she have evidence? Did she have any documentation from a court? Let me ask you, did she bring in any medical records, any hospital records, any police reports or anything? Or did she just, in the context of your therapist-client relationship, did she just tell you about it? Or you may not remember. I don't remember. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Did you, you spoke about domestic violence. When you got this intake, did you have something to verify that domestic violence took place? Any, any documentation from court or um, uh, to the legal system? Um, no, at that time. It was a yes or a no? I'm trying to think. It's been, like I said, it's been six years ago. Um, I don't remember, honestly. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say yes or no, but I, I would say I don't remember because so I don't want to So you don't, rem you don't remember if you had any documentation that domestic violence actually took place? That's what she just said. Okay. Well, just want to make sure. She said I don't know. She's not I committing to I don't remember. You don't remember? I'm not going to say I don't know. I don't remember. And do you swear or affirm any testimony you give would be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Okay. okay. And now, um, on this move, where do you intend to move? To Atlanta. And um, do you intend that move to be a temporary or permanent arrangement? Permanent. And um, do you have anything <clears throat> going on down in Atlanta? Tell me if you have a job there or this, uh, and what, what your intent is. Well, I just secured a place I'm moving to Stone Mountain. My job is allowing me to transfer my current position from here to Atlanta. Okay, let's talk about your current position. You're currently working? Yes. And how, how, what position do you have and where? I work at MSC Vending Services. is an industrial company. We supply industrial parts to a variety of different customers. Um, the position that I have allows me to have direct contact with customers in vending units. The vending units are kind of like um, vending machines and they get tool parts from there. Our headquarters is in Atlanta. So the facility in Atlanta allows me the ability to move up. Our main department is there, our branch, and our warehouse is located in Atlanta. That would be the corporate offices for correct. your company? That's correct. Okay. And when you say to move up, what, what do you mean? There's advancement opportunity. Here we only have two facilities that limit my ability to move up in the company structure. I previously worked at Verizon Wireless for 14 years, so I'm looking to make sure that I have a base where I can continue to make more money and to be of um, more ability to take care of my children. And moving up and getting a better position will allow me to do so. How about um, um, school for the children? School for the children. We, before we move off the job. Yes. Um, so what? It, so you're currently a customer. I don't know what. What's the title that you have right it's now? It's a. It's vending services. So pretty much it. It allows me the ability to sell vending parts to right. different customers. And so what's your annual compensation? Forty-one thousand. Okay. And so if you move to Atlanta, 
you would move laterally to the same job, but you have advancement opportunities there is what you're saying. I will get a pay increase to move to Atlanta and... So do you know what your increase would put you at? It would put me at about 55000 Is it correct you are the brother of Kimberly Malone? Kimberly Hawkins, yes. The last contact I had with my sister was over the last holiday weekend, wow. a brief five-minute call that gave me a heads up that I may receive a summons. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, I have no contact with my sister for over five years, 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 for over five years. Okay. And now, um, on this move, where do you intend to move? To Atlanta. And um, do you intend that move to be a temporary or a permanent arrangement? Permanent. And um, do you have anything <clears throat> going on down in Atlanta? Tell me if you have a job there or if it's, uh, and what, what your intent is. Well, I just secured a place I'm moving to Stone Mountain. My job is allowing me to transfer my current position from here to Atlanta. Okay, let's talk about your current position that you're currently working. Yes. And how, how, what position do you have and where? I work at MSC Vending Services. is an industrial company. We supply industrial parts to a variety of different customers. Um, the position that I have allows me to have direct contact with customers in vending units. The vending units are kind of like um, vending machines, and they get tool parts from there. Our headquarters is in Atlanta. So the uh, facility in Atlanta allows me the ability to move up. Our main department is there, our branch, and our warehouse is located in Atlanta. That would be the corporate offices for correct. your company? That's correct. Okay. And when you say to move up, what, what do you mean? There is advancement opportunity. Here we only have two facilities that limit my ability to move up in the company structure. I previously worked at Verizon Wireless for 14 years, so I'm looking to make sure that I have a base where I can continue to make more money and to be of um, more ability to take care of my children. And moving up and getting a better position will allow me to do so. How about um, um School. It'd be the truth, the whole truth, School and nothing but the truth. I do. The living, uh, the cost of living is lower in Atlanta. The place that I have secured is much cheaper than what I'm currently paying. My insurance will go down to it's when I checked under a hundred dollars versus two hundred fifty dollars here. Okay. And what type of what, what? Tell me about the place that you'd be moving to. Um, Stone Mountain. Stone Mountain. Tell me what. Like, what does the residence look like? Mm -hmm. um, well, the residence is secured. It's a gated community. That Home or apartment or condo? It's an apartment. Okay. Yes. And how many bedrooms? Uh, it's going to be two. Okay. Mm -hmm. The facility, um, well, the place that I'm moving has a playground for the children. It has a lake. It has uh, the security of the in and out, so there's not just anyone coming in and out. They do have a secured police officer on site that monitors what's going on uh, in the building as well. Do you have, um, I'm going to stay with the school's um, okay. question. Um, do you intend to enroll the children in school? Yes, the, uh, there is a charter school opportunity for the children. I've missed the deadline, but I was advised, I called to inquire about the school. They told me once I have residency, then I can apply for late residency for the children for the charter school. All the children are bused to and from school. So the, um, the bus will come to the home to pick the children up and then drop them off. Do you have family there? I do. Uh, who's there? My brother, his wife, and his two children. And do you have family here? I have no one here. How old are your brother's children? They are 14 and 12. And where do they live? They live in Lithonia. Lithonia? Yes. Where is that relative in, to Stone? Atlanta. It's probably about 15 minutes away. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Are your parents still alive? No, they're both deceased. Okay. And where did you grow up? I grew up here. Okay. Other siblings? Just my brother. Just, okay. That's it. The living, uh, the cost of living is lower in Atlanta. The place that I have secured is much cheaper than what I'm currently paying. My insurance will go down 
to it's when I checked under a hundred dollars versus two hundred and fifty dollars here. Okay. And what type of what, what tell me about the place that you'd be moving to? Um, Stone Mountain. So Stone tell Mountain. me what like what does the residence look like? Mm -hmm. um, well the residence is secured, it's a gated community that home or apartment or it's condo? An apartment. Okay. And how many bedrooms? Uh, it's going to be two. Okay. Mm -hmm. The facility, um, well, the place that I'm moving has a playground for the children. It has a lake. It has uh, the security of the in and out, so there's not just anyone coming in and out. They do have a secure police officer on site that monitors what's going on uh, in the building as well. Do you have, um, I'm going to stay with the school's um, okay. question. Um, do you intend to enroll the children in school? Yes, the, uh, there is a charter school opportunity for the children. I've missed the deadline, but I was advised, I called to inquire about the school. They told me once I have residency, then I can apply it for late residency for the children for the charter school. All the children are bused to and from school. So the, um, the bus will come to the home to pick the children up and then drop them off. Do you have family there? I do. Uh, who's there? My brother, his wife, and his two children. In your right hand. Do you swear or affirm any testimony you give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. 